Hi everyone, Sarah here with Autoimmune Tribe, and this is your Sunday Soul Chat. Welcome. Let me know when you guys jump on live. I am super excited to share with you the last three days I have been in Salt Lake City with 30,000 people. <laughs> And I just want to say I'm really proud of myself because that took a lot of energetic boundaries. I know many of us are empaths and struggle with this kind of energetic boundary and um, just protection from the world and everyone else's energy that's around us. And I would say successfully um, just navigated it and was able to center that energy and protect my energy for three days with 30,000 people. So <laughs> these tools work and I'm really excited to share with you some of my major takeaways from the doTERRA oil convention. Basically, it was 30,000 people who are obsessed with oils <laughs> that got together. I got to talk about and learn about oils, but more importantly, I was able to meet women that I've connected with on social media. Amen for social media, right? <laughs> Blessing and a curse sometimes. And I was able to connect with them, meet them in person, and be able to feel like I was part of something that felt so exciting and inspiring and motivating and honestly world-changing. So I know some of you are probably already afraid because I'm talking about an MLM, MLM company, but I just want to disclaimer that there are no yucky vibes here, and I just really want to share with you what I learned and what I took away and um, I'm not I'm not selling to you. And that was like the most beautiful thing that I experienced. One of the most beautiful things, because there were a lot of them, um, was that there was no yuck. There was no bullshit. There was just lots of heart and love and knowledge and inspiration that I just like soaked it all up. So I am really excited to make sure my comments are on to share with you guys some of the things that I learned. Whoever's on, can you just comment, even if it's a heart, I wanna make sure that the comments are on. P.S. I got home yesterday and I checked the mail this morning and I <laughs> I got a gift from my dad. He sent me this shirt, you're killing me smalls. So I'm wearing it because I was hot from my last video. And hi Kareen, thank you for letting me know the comments work. So you saw I changed. <laughs> I was getting hot in my sweater. I put on this shirt my dad got me and my last name's Small if you guys didn't already see that above. So, haha, -ha, right, from the Sandlot. Thank you, Robin, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I just wanna start with this quote that Emily Wright, one of the founding executives of doTERRA said during her, her talk, which is that man can't approve upon what nature creates so beautifully, right? Like, why are we always trying to like tamper with things that are already good? Why do we try to fuck up the things that are already beautiful? And that kind of pisses me off sometimes. I'm like, why do we think we can do better than nature? Why do we think we can do better than nature? We can't, right? Like these things are medicine from the earth, they're a gift from the earth, um, and we wanna make sure that we do source them sustainably, but ultimately like they can change our freaking lives. I was standing myself during group, well, I know. I got a little hot. Plus I have like a light here, otherwise I'd be really dark in this room, so heat. We can't improve upon what nature creates so beautifully. Who agrees with that? Who agrees with me? So what I want to do is a couple of the major like just in general takeaways I want to talk to you about. I also want to tell you about a few of the oils that were launched um, because they could be life-changing for some of you. I was just like in my head. I was like, oh my god, autoimmune tribe. I need to go on. I need to tell all the autoimmune tribe this. I need to tell them now because some of, the, of these things relate or are applicable to those of us who suffer from autoimmune disease. And I, let me just tell you this first. I was on a bus with like maybe 30 people um, of all ages, genders, there was babies <laughs> and grandmas, you know, like all sorts of people. We were going to our team party and we were on the school bus of all buses and uh, it was a long drive and so we, we took our, you know, turns, people who wanted to share experiences that they had had with the essential oils. And I was not expecting what happened. I did not expect to feel the way I felt after people had shared their stories because 
I think sometimes we see these stories, or we read these stories, or we hear about the amazing benefits of oils or whatever. It could be anything, right? And we're just like, yeah, okay, whatever. And these are real people that I just completely human, totally normal, nothing celebrity about them, right? Not, they were not paid <laughs> to be on the school bus. And they were sharing stories from their heart and their soul that brought me to the verge of tears. Um, for example, uh, one of the women on my team was sitting next to me and she's in this group, so maybe she's listening, but uh, she talked about how she shared peace oil um, as a roller ball with a woman who was having a panic attack at an airport and went over and despite her friends trying to get her to drink water and stuff, she just rolled peace on her. Um, I think she said on her back of her neck and just had her take you know, a couple deep breaths. And this woman went from full blown panic attack to like, you know, feeling, feeling fine, right? Maybe not amazing, but she was completely, um, feeling better. And it's like, how powerful is that within seconds, right? Uh, and then uh, another woman shared a story about um, their infant. It was actually a husband and wife about their infant who w was born with trouble breathing and basically was told that they would never be able to, he would never be able to breathe properly and would always need breathing support. And they used to put the, he would like, his lips would turn blue and he would have trouble breathing through the night and mom would have to get up and they'd be so scared and they'd have to take him to the hospital because he wasn't breathing correctly. And they had a nebulizer at home and they would take, you know, put it on this baby for like hour and a half in order to get him breathing correctly again. And then they started using essential oils to help clear his, his breathing and his air pathways. And uh, they diffused it into the nebulizer and they said, that like first time it was like two minutes, but now it's down to like a minute, a minute and a half of using that with the essential oils and the baby's able, I think he's older now, but um, able to breathe. The baby is able to breathe and have a normal life. Like that is amazing. A woman who stood up who was a cancer patient and talked about how excited she was about some of the new oils that were launched because of their th therapeutic benefits. Um, one of the new oils is actually from the cannabinoid family. It's not CBD oil and it's not THC. Um, it has no psychoactive effects, but it's very therapeutic. Um, so I think just there was so many so much energy, so much love, so much heart in this bus. Um, a woman stood up who I had never met and talked about how um, auto she had basically undiagnosed autoimmune disease and how a bunch of the oils have helped her with digestive issues. So it's just, you know, I know you guys are hearing it from me and it's not the same as hearing it from them. Um, and obviously I'm not going to you know, tell any details of who these people are in order to protect their privacy, but it was just so amazing to hear normal, average, everyday people talking about how oils have changed their life. And I think it's amazing to consider how much the oils can do and how much that could prevent us from having to you know, invest in really expensive um, hospital visits or hospital stays and uh, could potentially change all of our lives as well. So I just wanted to share how inspired I was by that little school bus ride. <laughs> and um, now I want to share with you some of the oils that were released that I think are most applicable to all of us in the autoimmune com community. So the first one is Neroli. And you guys, I, I've talked about this before. Um, one of my you know, major symptoms of like the, the candida and autoimmune disease is my face breaks out and um, just you know, uneven skin tone. Um, and I'm constantly trying to like, you know, find that silver bullet. And I, I've stopped at this point because there's not a magic pill that gives you clear glowing skin, but it's a lifestyle, right? And um, this is maybe the closest to my magic bullet as I'm going to get, and it's um, Neroli. So it's a, a roller ball, and it is from the bitter orange tree in Egypt, and we were able to see where they source it from directly in Egypt, and it's really cool because it comes from the flower of the bitter orange tree. They use the rind in the orange oil, and they use the leaf in the pedigrain oil, so like they're using the whole part of the plant. Coming from a sustainable food and um, sustainable agriculture research career, and this is what I used to do, that made me so happy because the whole plant is being used. It's just like when you buy a whole chicken and you're able to use all the parts, even the feet in your bone broth, right? Like, I would much rather do that um, than pick parts that we, that we need. Like, why not use the whole thing? So I was excited about that. This neroli um, is 
uh, directly interacts with NDMA and increases GABA binding. Some of you might take GABA as a supplement in order to prevent anxiety. This increases GABA binding. So especially if you're someone who uses GABA as a supplement, you might want to Google this, <laughs> neroli oil. It also decreases excitatory brain signals. What does that mean? Excitatory, like up here, right, stimulating, helps you calm down. It also reduces anxious feelings and feelings of stress, like, can I get an amen, right? <laughs> um, was an absolute lifesaver last year. Yes, this thing I'm so excited about. It's like a little bottle of heaven. Uh, it also supports healthy, healthy intestinal inflammatory response. Okay, I'll say that again. Supports healthy intestinal inflammatory response, right? So the chronic inflammation, bad. Healthy inflammatory response, good. Helps promote that. Um, also, this is interesting. Smooth is, smooths the transition through stages of life by improving hormone concentrations in the body. So I'm looking at women who might be approaching menopause or just any women who are struggling with hormonal imbalance. That's me, um, neroli oil, okay? And it encourages feelings of intimacy. And I say that jokingly, but actually I've heard from many of you that that has become something that uh, along with the autoimmunity that you're struggling with. So maybe roll a little bit of this on and see what happens, okay? It also helps regulate healthy cell production um, and may regulate the MTOR, which is the regulator of cell death, aka could slow down aging. Healthy cell production, good, good, good. Anti-aging, yay, right? Um, and I wrote even in my notes, for women it has targeted cellular support. So Neroli is the first one I, share, I want to share with you. Next is uh, Copaiba. And this is, again, the one that I was talking about that was in the can cannabinoid family. I'm pretty sure, like, we all were like, oh, my God, they're going to, doTERRA is going to carry CBD oil. <laughs> they're not going to do that. But um, this is really cool because in the endocannabinoid system, there are two receptors, CB1 and CB2. CB1 has to do with your brain and your central nervous system. So that's going to be more of the um, potentially hallucinogenic or like you get high, right? Um, the CB2, it has to do with the endocrine and immune system. That's why I think many people in the autoimmune community really love CBD oil, potentially CBD with THC included. Um, so they presented this question as like how and how much, right? Like how can we actually use this as a therapeutic thing? So there are three main cannabinoids found in plants. The first is CBD, the second is THC. I think we've probably heard of those. So the CBD um, does not act on the CB receptors, so it's it's um, potentially therapeutic, but not as much as it, as it were if it were also used in conjunction with THC. Whereas THC interacts with CB1 and CB2, which equals psychoactive, which equals legal challenges for certain states as well. Whereas BCP is the third main cannabinoid. There's no interaction with CB1, but there is with CB2 direct interaction. So that means none of those psychoactive effects, but therapeutic amounts present in this oil. So then they went and they said, okay, we wanna use the BCP. How can we, within the cannabinoid plant family, find the oils, find an, a, a plant and an oil, uh, that has the highest concentration of the BCP, so it's most therapeutic. And that was in copaiba. So copaiba is a brand new oil with doTERRA. Um, it's not a brand new oil in, in life. It's, it, it wasn't just like magically created out of, any, of nowhere, um, but I'm excited that we are carrying it now. So you can blend it with frankincense, another one of my favorite oils, for increased cellular support. You can also blend it with peppermint for digestive support, probably ap applicable to many of us, and especially helpful if you blend it with peppermint at meals. It's also good for immune support, and it supports normal inflammatory response in the body. Again, there's a difference between the chronic inflammation and a normal inflammatory response that um, helps the maintenance and growth of our body, okay? So I'm pretty excited about this, and I will be trying that, and I will uh, share my results with you guys. It is um, Corrine wants to know the, <coughs> excuse me, 
the spelling. It's C O P A I B A. Copaiba. And I wrote it out phonetically so that I wouldn't butcher the name of it. Okay. I think I'm just going to share one more with you guys for the sake of your time. And it's going to be Blue Tansy. Okay. This comes in a five milliliter bottle. So the Neroli was in the roller ball. The Copaiba is in a 15 milliliter bottle. And the Blue Tansy is in a five five milliliter. What did I say? 15 and five. So there's a difference. Um, and this oil is blue. <laughs> so who has doTERRA oils and who has either the deep blue rub or balance oil, which is the blend for grounding? Oh my God. The blue aspects of those oils come from blue tansy, which is one ingredient in those blends. So the deep blue blend is the, the muscle rub um, and the balance oil again is the grounding oil. Well, blue tansy actually comes from the um, chamomile, chamomile uh, flower uh, family. So there's like Roman chamomile and uh, German chamomile. And then this is Moroccan chamomile, which is AKA blue tansy. And um, <laughs> they referred to this as like Smurf Wonderland, which I was kind of excited about and um, talked about how on certain people, not, I can't tell you which people, some, some people, when they put it on, it'll turn their skin a little bit blue, but like, it's nothing to be concerned about because it, it goes away right away. But I was just kind of imagining myself like trying to turn my skin blue for the hell of it. Um, so it, it does have a deep, a literal deep blue color, even though it's not the deep blue oil, it's called blue tansy. And the thing in it that makes it blue is called shamazoline, which I want to repeat over and over again forever. Shamazoline, uh, and turns it blue. So you probably want to know why I'm choosing this as the third oil to share with you. And it is because, number one, it's really cool that the first time in history, this is, this is not just doTERRA, this is like in history, they have been able to produce, grow, blue tansy, the chamomile plant in a controlled environment and able to maintain the quality at the same time and make it sustainable. So they're telling a story about how they used to um, cultivate, uh, harvest blue tansy, but then they had to replant the seeds, right? And this is in a controlled environment in a sustainable way for our world, our environment, to be able to um, continue to produce blue tansy. Love deep blue. Yes, it is saving grace for me. I use deep blue every day. And I'm in my doTERRA account and I don't see any of these three. Are they only available in limited locations? I'm glad you asked, Stacey. So they are not available until October 2nd because these were only available for convention attendees. There's a post-convention tour that's coming around that maybe it's, um, I can post a link to the post-convention where you can still get these for extra discounted prices, like more than wholesale if you go to the post-convention tour. Otherwise, they'll be available October 2nd. So just, what is that? That's like three weeks soon. It's coming soon. You can add it to your October LRP if you're an LRP um, user. So now I want to get to the important part, which is why this is a good oil, and I'm going to start using it. It's soothing. It's good for your skin. Like, I know I just told you that it has a blue tint, but it, it could be really good to use on your face. Dr. Hill, the doctor who was explaining this, the benefits of this oil was actually talking about how it's a really good beauty oil um, and helps your skin tissue. Uh, it also has this like warming and cooling combination if you use it with cinnamon. So I thought that was really cool for any sort of muscle pain, uh, joint pain, anyone with like rheumatoid arthritis taking the blue tansy and cinnamon together in order to get that warming and cooling combo that would feel good for your muscles. It's also antioxidant and good for supporting immunity. This is just a topical and aromatic oil, so it's not used internally, FYI, okay? So I just wanted to share those three oils with you guys, and then I wanna share a couple little uh, hacks, okay? So, and I can't actually see that my computer died, so I can't see what time it is, so I don't know how long I've been going. But if anyone wants to let me know what time it is, I'd appreciate it. Um, we learned that 
they uh, actually just asked this question and researched, did the, you know, the, the experimenting and the research to find the answer to the question, is neat application, neat means undiluted. So that means if I take the kabayaba and I put it on my wrist right now. It's perfect, thank you, Stacy. Um, if I apply the oil directly to my skin, is that better? Is that you know more effective than if I dilute the oil, say in a roller ball, and then I apply it to my skin? Which to me was very interesting because I typically like the strength and thought that I you know I would just apply like um, balanced directly to the bottom of my feet, vetiver directly to the bottom of my feet. I put clary sage on my arms. Uh, I put basil on the back of my neck, right? And um, what we learned was that actually carrier oils, so for example, fractionated coconut oil is most popular, fractionated coconut oil helps trap the volatile compounds that are going to minimize evaporation and enhance the penetration into your skin, okay? So if you didn't follow that, it means that when you mix the oil with fractionated coconut oil or a carrier, it's it, well, this is specific. They used fractionated coconut oil actually when they researched this, that you're going to get less of the evaporation. So think about like, you know, some of these, these oils are precious. You know, you spend money on them. You don't want to waste them. And one drop goes a long way. So I put one drop in my arm. I don't want half of it to evaporate, right? I want all of the benefits. And so they're saying that when you dilute it, it's actually easier to penetrate into the skin and enhances the um, e efficacy of the oil. So I decided, I already had these because I give them to customers oftentimes, that I am gonna start making lots of roller balls. So you can buy these on Amazon and all you do is you put your oil into your vial, roller ball, and then you fill the rest with fractionated coconut oil. Um, I don't want to give you too gen generic of a dilution because it depends on which oil you're using, but typically 10 to 20 drops uh, into um, one of these with the rest of FCO, fractionated coconut oil, is a good dilution. However, I want you guys to do your research. I don't want anyone to hurt their skin or especially if you have sensitive skin. So you would do that, add your ball on top, which actually I prefer the metal balls to the plastic ones. Next time I'm definitely going to get the, the metal ones. And then there's a little top for it. So you just put it together um, at home and then you can just carry this in your purse and be able to apply topically uh, in a more effective way. And your oil is going to last like 10 times as long than when you're applying directly to your skin, right? So now we know that the dilution is actually going to be more positive for us, okay? Cool. Did you guys know that? I did not know that. And it's completely changed the way I look at the oils as far as like just applying them neat versus um, being intentional about making my roller balls. And some of the oils come in roller ball and they're pre-diluted. So in these oils, you would not need to do that. What else? I want to share with you a couple things that I purchased for myself that are really cool. The first is a book. I love books. Who I'm obsessed with books. You guys can see some of them. This is maybe a tenth of my little collection behind me. Um, this book is beautiful, first of all. How gorgeous is this? It's called Natural You, and it has a bunch of recipes in it. So there's like energizing diffuser blends, leave-in conditioning spray, dishwasher detergent tablets, um, Birthday cake diffuser blend. Let's just read that one. One drop of lime, two drops of cassia, cinnamon, two drops of cheer, two, uh, three drops of citrus bliss. Yum. Everyone, uh, yeah, my birthday is coming up. I'm going to have to diffuse that. Um, ra raspberry basil body polish, like a scrub. Summer diffuser blends. Let's see, is there fall? Yeah, okay, we're going into fall. Okay, what do you guys want? Apple pie, ginger, nap, ginger snap cookie, fall leaves, happy harvest, walk into the woods, or crisp autumn spice. I'm gonna choose. <laughs> I'm really interested in these fall leaves because I love leaves and the, col the changing color in the fall. I actually miss the Midwest for that. Two drops of 
Arbor Vitae. It's kind of hard one to say. Arbor Vitae. Two drops of Arbor Vitae. Two drops of cardamom. Two drops of cassia. Are there any ones you guys really want to know? Because I'm happy to read them. But this book is really cool. Um, some people also use them in cooking. Um, there's some things in here like that many of us probably will not eat like lemon broccoli pasta. Maybe if you use some gluten-free pasta um, where they use the, the lemon oil in their cooking. I just recommend that you don't put the oil directly into your water because you'll see it. It just it just floats on top and I don't want you guys to hurt your digestive system and digestive tract with such a potent thing going right into your esophagus and your intestines. Um, so I uh, recommend always um, using the oils if you're going to use them internally with a fat versus water. Oh, book hoarder, love books. Me too. <laughs> okay, that's resource number one. Resource number two is another book. Emotions and Essential Oils. And I actually, I already had this book. I had last year's edition. You guys may have seen me use it before. This is last year's. But like the cover's way prettier now. <laughs> and it has all the new oils. So it's actually a thicker book. And um, so for example, let's just see. Divine Universe, let's pick an oil for this autoimmune tribe community that they would benefit from. It's one of the new oils. You guys can't get it till October. But Siberian fur, the oil of aging and perspective. So instead of me telling you all the physical benefits of Siberian fur, this book tells you the actual emotional benefits of it, okay? It's good for grieving, loss, despair, sad, feeling regretful, feeling um, fretting over the past. It's also good for positive things like Comfort, forgiveness, perspective, honesty, wisdom, living in the present, being optimistic, adaptable, or peaceful. So I actually have this, this oil too, and we'll be using it. So this book is really cool to just show you emotional properties that go along with the physical properties. And this is something that I, I read from the other book. And I have a essential oils and autoimmune disease online course. It's two weeks, over six hours of content plus much, much more, and I give, it to free, I give it to all of my customers for free. When you sign up for a, a wholesale account, you get that whole course for free. It's worth $197. Um, when you sign up as a wholesale customer, I also invite you to our oil camp. It's like camp for adults. <laughs> so uh, every day there's little videos. It's, it's really, it was created by my team and me included as a way for people who are brand new to oils to start to get to know like you know maybe you've been even like given a gift in an oil and you look at it and you're like oh it smells good but like what the hell do I do with it so this course is about like what the hell to do with it and all the different products that you can use and replace things like Purell <laughs> with our new on guard sanitizing sp spray right um if you guys are still using Purell you need to switch to the on guard sanitizing spray <laughs> So um, you get free access to that. And I'm gonna do a wellness consult with you. If you sign up as a wholesale customer, I do a free wellness consult where we get on the phone and I talk to you like, what are you struggling with? Because it's overwhelming, right? You're like, there's these oils and they're this, the little bottles and what do I do with them and how do I use them? And which ones are actually gonna be best for me and my body and the things I'm struggling with, whether that's inflammation, maybe it's digestion, maybe it's your skin, maybe it's your hair, maybe you're losing, you're losing hair if you have lupus. Um, and so there's so many different ways and applications of these oils. I wanna get on the phone with you, I wanna to talk to you, I wanna help you and tell you, okay, Mary Sue, these are the you know five oils that I think that are gonna be beneficial for you most right now. And again, it's not just physical, it's emotional. So for example, another thing I learned, um, they did uh, research in hospitals. Uh, was it in hospitals or just workplace? I can't remember. Um, but they took, I think it was in work, some workplace, and they diffused all the emotional blends and forgive oil like it was insane there were like feelings of happiness before and after aromatherapy of smelling the forgive oil and there was it was zero no one was upset after smelling this oil and i think it's beautiful that it's also the forgive oil right and i think forgiveness is such a loving thing to do and can bring us freedom and joy and make us you know feel lighter inside so if you don't forgive oil you need it uh, but during the wellness consult, we'll go over emotional and physical um, things that you're experiencing and the oils that could, that could potentially help you. 
So I feel more inspired than ever to share these with you guys and I, I hope that you're already using them and if you're not, I would love to be the person to introduce them to you and get to know you better on a one-on-one -on -one basis and, and add you to, to, to my customers. Uh, it's really affordable to get started and I'll drop a link below for you guys to reach out to me if you have any other questions. Um, yeah. There's so much more. I just don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm obsessed. Totally obsessed. I drank the essential oil Kool-Aid and I'm never going back. It's just so cool because there's so many things in my life that I, you know, were using that were toxic or expensive. And now it's like I can, I can make all these things. I can do it on my own um, and I can feel empowered to do it and I can feel like I'm making a deci good decision for myself and for my family and those around me and continuing to, to share that with the world. So I, I really hope you guys feel inspired by this and excited about this. Maybe not as excited as me, but I hope that you guys are excited and uh, I'd love to help you guys get started on an essential oil journey if you're not already. I also have essential oils group. I'll pop that link below, essential oils for autoimmune disease if you wanna learn more about how specifically to use them with, in conjunction with autoimmune disease and autoimmune disease symptoms, okay? Happy Sunday. I'm losing my voice. I gotta go. I gotta go drink some more tea. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you for joining me here in Autoimmune Tribe. Bye.